And uh, so those topics sort of um, cover ideas so far discussed in this class. So midterm sort of like rotates around it. And uh, since many people have already taken it, I don't want to hold you back to, so there's another quiz already posted, so which covers constructors overloading and exceptions. We're still in, in, in the process of discussing those things. So uh, I will um, uh, probably postpone the discussion on those things till next week uh, to come back to uh, talk about exceptions and uh, constructors. So semester end project, uh, something new for us to talk about. So I posted it, and I posted some samples, which I would like to go over today. Basically, what this is, is that in this class, we're including uh, the um, gen ed capability of, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, it's uh, um, uh, public communication uh, gen ed uh, requirement. So it's basically uh, you want to make a, uh, um, what we'd like you to do is that everyone prepares a presentation towards the end of the semester and you have an option to either record it or uh, give presentation in class. In fact, if you tell me that you will be ready in a few weeks before, you know, much earlier than the end of the semester, because you may already be working on some project and some idea or something like that, uh, you can, uh, I will allow you to do it uh, on any given um, time uh, we have on Monday, and you can just step up and, and give a presentation. So the, uh, the end of this work will be a presentation. To make things work better, um, I am allowing it to be a team project. So that um, semester project, official is a team project, uh, ideally two people per team, or there could be more than, more than two people, maybe three people, uh, but uh, not more than three people. And um, what's going to happen is that uh, what I would like you to work on is that you should think of an idea of a s software uh, application of any kind um, that uh, might be um, interesting uh, to you and uh, mm, something that you would find beneficial to what you're doing. It could be related to your schoolwork, not necessarily uh, you know, Java or this class. It could be, you know, if you're taking chemistry or you're taking math or, um, you know, any other art course, you could actually develop an application which in some way could help you out with your studies. Um, a, a very simple example of such application could be um, a quiz application. You could design your, qu your own quiz application, fill it up with questions and answers and can basically run and, and test your own skills or, or knowledge on particular subject. Um, I would not like to limit this just to schoolwork because many of you are already uh, working part-time or full-time and coming back to school. And if you have something in mind, uh, work-related or, or particular business um, idea, that would be also very encu encouraging. You may also have a hobby or something, or maybe uh, your, um, you know, members of your family, your parents or your siblings maybe have a business, and maybe they need some help with programming. So perhaps you could talk to these people and find out what they want, and you may design an application. For example, in the past, I had a student who designed um, an entire like uh, local farm operation, and uh, that was pretty significant development. So, um, the the progression of this semester project is this: starting officially starting today. Uh, what you should uh, decide is whether you want to work on the project alone or would you like to work with it, uh, on it with a friend, 
you know, with the with a teammate, uh, or, uh, you know, from this class. So if you're looking for a teammate, you can send me an email, and I'll find a way to coordinate uh, 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 co coordinate uh, your search so that you can, you know, find a partner. If you prefer, and especially many people already sent me an email, online students just said, hey, we're just working online, it's, it's a different thing, I'm going to be working on it alone. That's okay, uh, that's fine. I would just say that uh, uh, s still, uh, you have to make a recording, perhaps using Cam Studio as I use in class, it's a free application. You can download it. And so I would ask you to make a recording of your presentation towards the end of the, of the semester and submit it. It should be a small presentation, five or 10 minutes. But you may be surprised how much could preparation that might require to just uh, make a five, 10, or 15 minute uh, presentation. So the progression is the, this. Once you decide it, you have a teammate or you're working alone. You should then document your idea and submit it. There will be another uh, posting following uh, maybe next week where I would say, OK, could you please submit your idea? It, it, you know, the, there's this particular handout for the semester project does include um, uh, basically the outline of what should be included. Obviously, which application you're trying to work on, what is the topic of your research, um, and uh, uh, then uh, have you already, so give me some background, basically why you're trying to do this and have you started on it. Any information is helpful. Uh, and then uh, you also should indicate whether you're looking for a teammate or you already have a teammate. And so I can keep track of what, what you're trying to do. So uh, basically, you need to submit your idea. So I will look at your idea, and I will basically reply that, OK, your idea is accepted. And uh, if I have questions, I will follow up with you. But you know, any, any idea is accepted. Uh, it can be an idea for a web-based application, or desktop application, or mobile application. This is really not limited by anything. The question is why? Because I am not asking you to write software. I am just asking you in this particular semester project to come up with the design or fragment of the design, basically partial design. And I will explain that better as we make our progress. Um, so. I, would, I also would like you to keep the project portfolio. What project portfolio, it sounds kind of fancy, but what it really means is someplace, somewhere on your flash drive or your, or, or your portable drive, you have a folder where you basically say, OK, this is my semester project for CIS 123, and keep everything that you for this project in one spot, right? so that you don't lose any documents starting with the submission of your idea. Uh, you need to essentially keep track of everything, every document, anything that you submit, anything that you use in your project, you should keep, keep it in that particular folder. Like this fancy name is portfolio, right? Uh, the reason for doing this, uh, typically um, I, had, I had people who, uh, by the time the presentation uh, was taking place, they came up with animations and videos and demos and all kind of things. And it's so impressive that I'm just asking people to, because you know, if you if you get excited about something, it just uh, keeps going and going and going. You contribute a lot of time into this type of thing, just to design, and it's uh, uh, you know, it it can be very impressive. And so I I would say that uh, I'd like to encourage you to keep track of everything that you do so that perhaps when you want to find a job or, or move on to other schools, uh, you can uh, demonstrate it later on. 
that this is a part of work that you did. So it's, uh, um, I also had people who actually done some 3D emulations, like used uh, 3D engines to emulate uh, uh, different parts of an application, for example, like CAD design or um, you know, mathematical um, um, modeling, uh, which were also looked very impressive uh, when they submitted it and made the presentation.